Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Freedom Flash Fridays. There has been a change in content, but don't worry guys, Boy Gamer is still here to give you awesome tips and tricks on how to edit your videos. Last time, Voya Gamer has taught you how to add transitions on your videos. Now, Voya Gamer will be teaching you how to tweak, pattern, and mix up your audio. Before we proceed, guys, give him some love by checking out his channel and also clicking that subscribe button. Let's go! And here we are once again back in good old Lightworks. So instead of using our normal project, I'm gonna start a new one. So we're gonna go through the whole project creation uh, thing, where all you have to do is press create new project, choose your FPS, of course we want 60 for that crisp, crisp quality, and our name will be Bobby. Bob was our last one, we're going Bobby. And then of course we need our files, which I have right here. You drag that over, it'll load. You do all that fun stuff that we went over in episode one. Now going into edit, you need to take this, drag it right on down into your timeline down there, just so you have it there. And you can see this is the video. You're not seeing like light work exception here. This is the video right here. And this is what the video currently sounds like. This is the first audio recording that I have in this video. This is the second audio recording that I have in this video. And as you can hear, it's a little quiet and it's a little not that good sounding, but that's fine. We're gonna work on that by showing some audio tools that you can use to improve your video's audio. So let's take a look at the audio tab. Going to the audio tab, you can see all this fun stuff that we're going to touch on in just one little second. But first, you want to change your audio volume. Well, how do I do that? We briefly touched on it in episode one, but I'll go over it again. First is something I haven't shown you, and that's that this is kind of small. It's kind of hard to see. All you have to do to make that bigger is go here, press this button here, and you'll see that it'll get bigger. Makes it easier, just so you can see everything on a bigger scale. So to increase your audio, you will see that there is this little white line that goes right across, right across the audio here. And you do see that there are two audio things, which means that there's one for left, one for right. When you're using headphones, when you're using speakers, whatever. You don't want lopsided audio because that sounds really bad. You want stereo, not mono. So make sure that you do have two audio tracks there. It should be there automatically, but if for some reason you don't, you may want to check your recording settings. Anyways, how you increase your volume is simple. You go, you click on that line, and you move it up. Boom! Well, what did that do? Well, let's take a listen at the audio once more with only the line moved up and nothing else edited. This is the first audio recording that I have in this video. And as you can see over here as well, you can see the decibels and how loud it is, and you want it to hit that perfect range. Usually what I like to do is balance it out somewhat around the zero point, but of course you can change that depending on your recording, depending on the video, whatever it may be. As you can see here, it is 8.6 decibels higher than the actual recording. So that is how you increase your audio. But let's say that you have something like this, where there's just a giant gap here of nothing being said, or no music, or whatever it may be. I'm gonna show you the easy way to fix that. All I have to do is go here and press that delete button, just like we did with the video editing, and you'll see that it will cut the audio just like that. And it will also do it to the video, you can't see it on here, but it's also affecting the video, so be careful, whatever you do here to cut and shift will also affect the video. Then you go here, boom, you want it there, you cut it. This part is obsolete. So then you have this gap here, and you'll see that you can't actually drag anything around, you'll just get this little thing that comes up. So what do you do? You have to do two steps to close this gap, which I also believe, like the video editing, is a bit 
over the top, a bit unnecessary, and a bit confusing, but oh well. That's just how Lightworks works, I guess. All you have to do is right click, and you'll have all these different options. You just want remove. Press remove, and it will be gone. Now you have this giant gap here, and you still can't drag anything around to put anything where it should be. So what do you do? You right click again, and you press close gap. And when you press close gap, you'll see that it will move the two clips together, just like that. Now you have this first audio recording that I have in this video. This is the okay. That's fine. That's nothing too fancy. It's just a transition. It's just a jump. There's nothing smooth about it. It's just kind of rough. I'm going to show you how to make it a smooth transition to make that audio sound just a little better. Now, it's a little hard to hear since it's at the beginning of the track, but you can tell that it got quieter and then got louder again as it transitioned. Went from the normal 8.6 plus that we have for the audio, went quiet and got louder again as it got to the second track. Listen again. First audio recording that I have in this video. This is the second audio recording that I have in this video. And there you have it. You have your crossfade just like that. Now all that's fine and dandy, but what happens if you have another audio track like music? Which we have right here, fresh from the Freedom Music Factory, which has tons of free music tracks that you guys can use in your own videos and I use in all of these videos. You have that down there, you drag it down with your edit and then you go back to audio and you'll see that it's there now. Now, taking a listen to it, just right off the bat, you can see that the audio, that the music is a lot louder than the recording. So we're gonna have to fix that, but here's what it sounds like first. First audio recording that I have in this video. This is the second audio recording that I have in this video. Alright, you can't hear a single thing of what's being said, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you all how to fix that and balance your audio. Well, all you have to do is adjust the volume, that little white line that goes all the way across the audio again. You're just gonna take that and move it down a bit. Now, this is... This takes a little bit of practice on figuring out where it should go since your recording will be a different uh, level than mine, a different audio level. It may be louder, it may be quieter, so it'll have to adjust depending on what your volume is and how much you increase it. Like mine is 8.6, but just because you made it 8.6 doesn't mean it'll be as loud as mine since your audio may just be louder. It's all up to you, and it takes a little bit of fiddling with to hit that sweet spot. The audio track below your voice may be game audio, it may be music, it may be whatever. You want it to be balanced, and you want your voice to be louder. I have seen so, so many new YouTubers, or even just newer, they've been around for a while, but their voices will be lost in the music because it'll just be so loud or the game audio you want to balance it and this is how you can balance it really this is probably in my opinion the best part of lightworks that i don't have any issues with it's a little confusing to try and cut the audio but it's not too difficult once you know oh i have to right click and i have to do this balancing works perfectly and I have no complaints about it there. Now, of course, you have your audio, your video, everything is edited. So what do you do? You go back to edit, you right click, you go down to export and you go up to YouTube and then you have all your settings there that I've gone over twice now. You know how that works. It's exporting. It's not that hard. There you go. And there you have it, Freedom Family. If you have any questions for Voya Gamer, please comment down below. Also, if you haven't watched our previous videos, why not? You should go watch them. It's gonna be amazing. Before you leave, drop a like, subscribe, and also gong that bell. Go! My name is Nold, guys. Goodbye!